Hello everyone, Crystal Lynn here. Welcome to my channel, Tuning Into Love. Welcome to a special pick a card reading. Um, this one is specifically for um, divine counterparts, twin flames, mirror souls, your true authentic path, whatever is aligned with your path, your people, <laughs> whatever it is that you came here to experience. This pick a card is geared towards your innate soul energy, your innate soul power, the ancient wisdom that resides within you. So there's a message here from your higher self um, that contains some ancient wisdom that has to do with your spiritual path moving forward, your authentic path, aligning with the connections that are meant for you, that are truly here to inspire your growth and your well-being so that you can truly embody and express who you came here to be authentically and enjoy. And um, in that itself, you contribute to the beauty and love of this world. So <laughs> with all that being said, this is a collaboration with my twin sisters. Um, and you can find links to their videos in the description box below. Um, Tiana is offering a pick a card um, that is about love healing messages in regards to your relationships or partnerships. And Ananda, um, her pick a card is future predictions um, based on different life aspects. So check those out if you feel guided. We are so grateful and honored to support your journeys. And of course, I have four different groups here. So tune in as I'm rambling away here. Group one, two, three, and four. Whichever group calls to your intuition the strongest, can you feel that pull? Um, that's usually the message for you. Always trust your intuition and what feels right to your own heart and your own journey because truly only you know and can affirm what is right for you. Okay. So thank you again. We're honored to do these messages, to share whatever wisdom and guidance comes through from higher self, from unconditional love to just affirm that we are in alignment with what we want and what we're manifesting um, while we're here. So thank you all so much. And let's just get into the reading. I'm going to start with group number one. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing for all your donations. Oh my goodness. Thank you, you guys. Um, your love and support means the world to me and inspires me to keep going and keep growing and learning and sharing everything I know with you guys, because I certainly don't know everything or anything. <laughs> Truly. I just really appreciate and feel grateful to share what I know with you and appreciate you guys for, for staying true to your hearts and reflecting that back to me. It's, it's very, um, affirming for me and I, I love you guys so much. So let's get into it. You guys timestamps and links for my twin sisters videos in the description and let's get started. Move these off to the side here. Okay, so group number one. So what is the innate soul power, the ancient wisdom that's within this relationship, this connection? What is it that your higher self wants you to know at this time, tapped into your own innate, ancient, powerful wisdom of your soul? Okay, so let's find out what is what wants to be said about this connection. This is from the lover's Oracle. This is a beautiful card with all the red there, a lot of passion. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what your tarot cards are. Ooh, more red. We've got the base chakra here. these on the camera I like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want to date that's beautiful we like you that's I like you I like that's that's beautiful because we can love someone maybe we don't like them so it's good to like them and love them <clears throat> okay queen of pentacles five of wands and the hanged man 
I, I feel this energy of, um, wow, it's, it's, there's a focus on really creating a stable foundation, really being in tune with your, your own energy, your own personality, your own lifestyle, what's, what's truly right for you. And I feel like there's a little bit of like ego battle going on here between the ego and the heart, the head and the heart. So it's, it feels like this energy that it, that was always meant to be with the hangman here. There's an expansion of your perspective of your consciousness expanding and growing beyond what you've known. And so, yeah, when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love, life and love. And so it's a period of, um, evaluation and contemplation and um looking at your life you know and and what you are willing to sacrifice and let go of in order to follow your heart and choose the path that brings you happiness that brings you your true joy and bliss you know to really like the people in your life and like what you're doing um i feel like you're very um committed to your, you know, your family's well-being, your own well-being, your, your stability, your home life, like making sure your home feels like your sacred space, the place where you can, um, truly connect and tune in and also building a financial foundation that supports you and your family in a way that's nurturing and allows you to grow and be who you truly are. Um, with the base chakra here, that's really, coming to that awareness that what you want is what you're, you know, meant to have, you know, your desires to want that stability, that home and the things that you need to be able to move about life and, and be yourself. Like those are, those are natural feelings, you know, to feel abundant and supported. So it's knowing that you deserve what you want and being rooted in that foundation of love and, you know, being able to, maintain your independence moving forward without compromising what's really important to you. It doesn't mean, you know, sacrifice isn't giving up something necessarily that's really important to you. It's more about letting go of what we think we want, you know, what the ego wants because the ego wants things right now and it's never satisfied. It's like this feeling of, you know, we've got to ask ourselves, is this our ego demanding this or is it our heart? And when it's our heart, sometimes it doesn't come right away. It requires patience and wisdom to understand that what we truly want is worth the wait and that we have, when we stop, when we know that everything we really want is already ours, we can let go of this <clears throat> energy of, you know, wanting something because it's recognizing it's already there. And when we do that, we can actually see what we need because the ego, we're not feeding the ego's desires. We're feeding the heart. And so it allows us to come into that awareness of what we truly need in order to feel that energy of true stability, because we can have a house and a car and a job and feel like somewhat stable, but it may be completely void of emotions and life. And so it's, you know, Whereas it, in a sense, it's more of a risk to be your own entrepreneur and do things your own way. It may require more responsibility and self-discipline, but at the same time, it gives you more freedom and it gives you that feeling of alignment with what you're manifesting. And as it comes, you know, like, you know, it's, you've been sowing those seeds. So I feel like this is really important for you right now to really trust your heart and, um, recognize where the conflict comes in with the ego. Okay. These are message twin flame messages from mystic moon. This one says, am I good enough for you? I've thought about reaching out to you, but then I stop myself. So there may be this energy of like insecurity or, um, <clears throat> feeling like you have to achieve something in order to be accepted or loved. And that's simply the ego, you know, feeling that it's, it's knowing that you are good enough as you are right now. And you always have been, and you always will be, um, and learning to really trust what your heart is guiding you to do. Because when we feel like, you know, if, 
if this is just the energy that's coming out, it's it's really being able to trust what your heart is telling you and being able to express it without expectation on you know the outcome. You're expressing it because that's truly how you feel. You you have no hidden agendas or you know it's it's like being able to really express your heart and allowing the other person to choose, you know, how they, you know, want to respond and if it's reciprocated. It's like even if it's not, it's knowing this is how you really feel. And if you don't really feel that way, then you wouldn't express it. So it's it's like this energy of really coming into your own worthiness and knowing of your value and how amazing you are and resourceful you are and nurturing and hardworking. Like I feel that this is really about you learning to trust yourself completely, what your heart is really guiding you to do, because ultimately no one can tell you what's truly right for you, but you're going to know based on how you feel. Ooh, thunder and lightning power. Know you belong, the number 19, and it's a cat. I love it. With Oh, it's a cat with like dragon wings. That's really pretty. Let me see if I can... Make sure you can see that. So the cat is, this is interesting with like dragon wings because the cat, <clears throat> it's usually represents that energy of independence and very healthy boundaries and being able to land on your feet and being really resilient. And I might have to read that one because this is a new deck. <clears throat> Green man synergy. I do feel this energy of the synergy. It's it's connect, you know, with the thunder and lightning. It's almost like this this um, energy, <laughs> this lightning bolt coming in your higher self and igniting you in a sense, like your heart chakra expanding, really connecting to the earth and. The energy of Gaia right now is really supportive in connection. So when your heart's open and you have that connection with Gaia, you're able to um, connect with the energy of Gaia. It's it's it feeds your life force as you're breathing in that prana, right? And exhaling and and intentionally focusing on activating unconditional love within yourself and without. There's this energy of synergy, of synchronicity, of being in the right place at the right time, of the birds speaking to you, the ogam, the nature um, divination, like nature speaking to you and affirming things for you and, you know, synchronicities letting you know that you're on the right path. It's being able to see beyond just the physical and see kind of beyond the physical barrier to the energy within your environment. So this is really beautiful. I just, you know, this energy of thunder and lightning, it's like the force. It's, it's very powerful. It is the energy, the life force energy, and it's neutral. And it's, it's all about how you're focused. And when you're really focused on love, it's just, I mean, it, it's, it can really open up <laughs> so much within us. So life purpose from the angels. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. So I see that you're, I mean, whatever it is that you're aligned with at this time is your life purpose. And I see it as being something very, um, abundant for you in all areas of your life, not just financially, but emotionally, spiritually, mentally, um, allowing you to expand and grow. And it's, you know, it brings you joy. It brings you contentment and satisfaction and peace and our life purpose. You know, it's not just a job, right? It's just, it's our life. It's how we choose to be in love. And when we're in, the, in alignment with our heart and love, we just naturally radiate our life purpose. We are naturally um, attracted to healing and music and dance and art and creativity and all of this energy that inspires us, that it connects us to our soul. And when we're connected to our soul, 
it's pretty much effortless heart soul you know mind body so because the universe is one truly one being and we are all a part of that we are all a part of the one so we are all one heart one mind one soul one body and when we're in alignment with it everything just happens naturally so i feel like you're really um you know that it's like when we're truly our soul is expanding and evolving the ego it gets a little bit frightened and it creates conflict and as we have conflict within it can create conflict without so it's a really just a time for you to tune into your heart your heart already knows oh the lover and the beloved number 35 for your roomy card oh wow that's beautiful make a decision the number 11 there's a lot of synchronicity in this message. 21 shadow treasures. That's beautiful. The B, luck, industriousness, and sweet victory, number 16. And purification, white Tara. So let me make sure you can see all these cards. Okay, so. <clears throat> know you belong i feel like um you've gone through some lessons in and in independence really gaining your perspective of your own power mastery of your own energy um tuning into your own joy and you know what is really right for you and i'm gonna actually look at this card because i want to know what the message is in here this is from the Messenger Oracle, which I really love this deck, it's new. You have place, you have purpose, you are special. Do not change who you are just so others might accept you. Do not dishonor your truths by allowing someone else to tell you who you must be. Change made just, change made just so you fit the expectations or social criteria of a clique or group does not honor you. You do not need to change in order to belong. You are a blessed child of Gaia and great spirit and belong simply because you are. That is so true. And so if you're struggling with something, your soul, your heart is never going to lead you into a situation or to making a choice that doesn't feel right. If it's asking you to sacrifice something that's important to you, if it's asking you to do something that makes you feel uncomfortable, um, if it's just not, if, if it's, you know what I mean? It's this energy where really trusting the soul means that the soul, <clears throat> it's knowing that the soul and the heart will never ever lead you down a path or connect you to someone that makes you feel unsafe. If you feel unsafe, if you don't feel that energy of stability, if you don't feel a hundred percent trust, that's your soul and heart letting you know that that's, may not be in alignment for with you and if you have a concern love encourages you to speak your truth you know to speak your concerns and what's worrying you or your well-being because ultimately if it is a situation that is meant for you they will offer reassurance they will offer you um, understanding and wanting to find a solution or a remedy or healing or whatever it is so all of it is showing us exactly what it is that we need to see as long as we are listening and really tuning in and honoring what love is and what it feels like and what it sounds like and how it speaks and how it acts and when we know that for ourselves within then you know that's coming in to know your own value and worth the love the thunder the lightning the power that love it's within you already it is what you are so it's remembering your own innate soul which is gentle which is humble and, and it's about beauty and appreciation and gratitude and you know being soft and strong at the same time and in, in being able to stand in love you know st strength to speak your truth and courage to follow your heart even if others think maybe you're a little crazy for doing so you know it's they don't walk in your shoes and and it's not up to others necessarily to know what our path is it's up for them it's for them to know theirs and for us to know ours so there is no right or wrong 
right? There's really truly no good or bad. It's, it's all, there's infinite possibilities here that are offered to us. The universe says yes and honors our free will. We can choose to align with the love that we are and things just flow for us. And that happens by listening to our hearts. Or we can choose to not align with it and follow the crowd or what someone else believes is best for us. And we ultimately, because we've chosen that, you know, we reap what we sow. So it's just really getting into that. When you're in alignment with your heart, the synchronicities, the, the Gaia will just speak to you nonstop. She'll be like, keep going. Yes, yes, yes. You'll just see birds and butterflies in your face and, you know, all the colors and signs and things that are personal for you just popping up all over the place. Um, so it's that feeling of really liking someone, you know, not just loving them because you love. Do you really like this person? Do they really like you? You know, and I feel like this energy of like your heart knows who you really like and who you don't. Because when you really like someone, you want to work things out. You want to, you know, you want there to be harmony and balance because you have so much fun together because you like each other so much. It's so much more fun to like each other. And I just feel this energy here of the lover and the beloved really tuning into your your divine mirror, your reflection. Um, I see with shadow treasures here, there's been, you know, going into the depths of who you are and finding the treasures within of, um, you know, looking at your ego and the shadows and the wounds and the things that hold us back from truly being who we are. And with aligning with what, with your heart is guiding you, making that decision will allow this energy of just being able to release what is no longer serving, you know, and really open up your heart and your, your path to love, really embracing love and trusting, you know, yourself, trusting your heart, um, and making a decision really standing behind your decision to choose love is I feel like what your higher self is guiding you to do. And when you, make a decision, then, then you, your higher self can affirm you in the physical reality. But if we're not making a decision, it's, it's waiting for us. You know, it's like, it's, it's going to affirm you when you're on the path. And it doesn't mean you have to just choose. Like, it's really about choosing based on your heart and what your heart is guiding you to do with purification here. This is taking some time to purify your, your thoughts your emotions, your, your physical body, um, your spiritual practices, like anything that you can do to lighten the energy within yourself to shine light and, you know, dust out the cobwebs and, you know, all of that stuff, like really approaching it with this energy of seeing yourself as a divine infinite being as already worthy and valuable and priceless and here to be the love that you are and be connected with your beloved. And, you know, we all have shadows. We all have, um, the darkness within us, all of us do. But when we belong, when we are at peace with who we are, when we accept who we are and we claim our path, we then attract those who who are on the same path with us, you know, we reflect to each other, the truth of who we are and we, we, we come together. So know that you belong. And it's, it's like being really rooted in the earth, being very connected to your higher self, knowing that you are a divine counterpart a beloved. You have this ancient wisdom within your soul that's guiding you. And it's like, the more you focus on your heart, the more, things just really flow with luck, industriousness, sweet victory here. It's like, yes, you know, as you keep tuning into your heart, it's just like more magical things happening for you, more about your soul purpose is revealed as you continue purifying. And you may go through um, periods of time where you don't feel well or you're tired. And that's because your body's detoxing. It's, re it's releasing energies within you that, you know, as you say yes to love and release fear, those energies also release physically out of your body. So if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling dehydrated, make sure you're drinking water and, you know, being mindful of the words that are in your mind when you're not feeling well, 
see it as, you know, my body's detoxing, it's going through stuff and love yourself. You're like, I'm going to rest a little bit. I'm going to take it a little easy today. Maybe I'll have some vitamins today. Maybe I'll drink some extra water or go for a walk or whatever. Like the more you love yourself and really nurture yourself, you'll see that that's, you know, ultimately that's unconditional love and your divine partner reflects that, you know, will be that energy naturally. Um, I just feel, I feel a lot of um, comfort and stability and reassurance and um, a lot of like electric uh, power, like the force, like it's like, it's like you got zapped <laughs> by, by love and it's just like, whoa, you know, so I want to read this card to you, the lover and the beloved from the Rumi deck. Um, I love these channel messages. I think it's it's just time for this energy to be affirmed more than ever, and we're all feeling it. I wanted to see um, with the shadow treasures here, the black eyed Susan. Okay, so the flower on here is the black eyed Susan. And it provides a light in the darkness while doing shadow work. And the golden calcite is the stone, which shines a gentle, comforting light on hidden treasures. We all have parts of ourselves that we keep hidden away from the world, not knowing that these shadow aspects contain treasures. Shine the light of love in the dark corners of your soul and look with compassion on these neglected qualities. You will find something very necessary to living your soul's purpose. I face my shadow with excitement, knowing there are treasures to be found. I sift carefully through to wreck to I sift carefully through to wreck of my psyche and gently release neglected parts of myself. So that's really beautiful, really going within and not being afraid to look at any sort of aspects of yourself that are ready to be released or healed or loved or nurtured, you know, loving all of yourself, even the dark aspects, even the all of it not to keep it there, but to release it, to heal it, just like we would a physical wound, you know, we would clean it out, even though it would hurt, we would clean it out and, you know, put some bandages on it, and it might be sore for a couple days. But it's the same thing with anything else, we release it, we heal it, we know that once it's healed, it's, you know, it's not gonna just hurt all of a sudden and be, you know, so it's, it's like you're going to find some some deep treasures within yourself, how strong you are, how big your heart really is, how, what an amazing soul you are, and how you're here to truly share the love that you are in a powerful way, ways that you probably may not be aware of at this particular moment as you're watching this. But the more you feel that and, and you feel that knowing of truth, like, yeah, that feels, you know, I know I'm here, you know, for a certain purpose. And it is truly to experience and be the love that you are. And it's a great joy to do that, to express that. It feels so good. That's the natural state. You know, anything that doesn't feel right is not our natural state. It's, it's telling us, you know, Hey, there's something we need to adjust, or maybe it's, you know, we're growing and maturing. It's just time for something new. So choosing love and, and keep allowing yourself to focus on love from that perspective is it's like you're attracting your your mirror soul your divine counterpart um let's read this really quick here i want to see what it has to say and it's the number 35 so that's beautiful so the Rumi poem is when you move beyond consciousness you caress the beloved when you move into the unknown Beyond everything, the beloved caresses you, Rumi. It is not enough to love me. I want you to allow me to love you. It is not enough to desire me. I want to be closer to me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let me start over. It is not enough to love me. I want you to allow me to love you. It is not enough to desire me, to want me to be closer to you. I want to reach out to you and grab a hold of you drawing you into me and never letting you be apart from me again. There is so much more for us to experience, you and me, than simply gazing, even with love, at each other from a distance. Let me take you into my arms. Let me hold you until we cease to know or care where you and I once were. 
you and I, for instead we will be one. Will you allow it? Will you allow me? Will you allow us to be? O oh, sweet beloved, the divine, the great beloved has a passionate desire for you to love you, to touch you, to make the divine presence known to you so that you will cease to fear the darkness, take delight in all of life and become mesmerized by the beauty of love and its endless emanations. But how we resist love at first. Oh yes, we have been burned before, have we not? Abandoned, betrayed, so painfully disappointed, cast aside, and have suffered at the hands of some unworthy lover. Can this great divine love affair be tarred with the same brush, with the same bitter expectations that keep the heart closed? You are too beautiful to be hidden away behind a bitter and gated heart that is unworthy of you. So then, can you allow the great beloved to reach for you, to receive that sacred touch every day, to be spoken to with words of love, to receive? You who give of yourself, can you recognize the beloved wishes to give to you too? These need not be mutually exclusive happenings. Come now, deep down, you know the genius of the divine is such that in being received, much is given. You shall not be selfish in letting yourself be seen and loved. Allow it, rejoice in it, take delight in allowing yourself to receive life and let the world soak up the ardent glow of your sensual surrender into the great beloved's embrace. This oracle brings you a message. Something has to change in your physical world. You are in need of more sustenance, more love, more connection, and more nourishment that touches your body and soul and brings them into deeper oneness with each other, with life, with love. Dare you open up and allow that love in. The great beloved has desired that this be so. Will you heed that holy desire? Will you allow love in? Say yes. If you find this difficult, now is the time to gently, carefully tend to the walls you once placed between yourself and life, walls of tentiveness, excessive caution, fear of abandonment and betrayal, doubt of your own lovableness, and doubts based on past pain without substance. You are so much greater than these crumbling walls. They are the stuff that is designed for demolition, not devotion and honoring. Can you begin to unpack the bricks you mistakenly believed were essential to your safety and well-being? You are too vast to see for that small puddle of thought now. The oceanic world of love is your true home, and the sun is beating down upon you. It is too hot to gaze at the ocean longingly from afar or even stand by its edge. Strip off your layers, run to the ocean, and dive in. This oracle brings you special guidance. An offer or opportunity is on its way to you or has recently been presented. It may be an idea you've been nurturing or one presented to you by another person. Sit with it. Do you feel exhilaration? Do you feel energy at the thought of saying yes? Then say yes. Allow yourself to receive. There is divine encouragement in taking risks that feel wild and alive to your heart. Okay, so if, this is amazing. If you feel that, that bolt of lightning, you know, that thunder, like there's a reason for that. And this is about really tuning into your heart and asking yourself, is this coming from my heart or is this coming from my, my ego? You know, a false sense of, it's like, you know, the only way to truly know is your heart. So even if it doesn't seem like something, you know, that others may not approve of, or it's not what you thought, but your heart is like just expanding and fired up, then you know. So I just, I feel like this is <clears throat> truly standing in your power, like really standing in your power, really claiming your power, really owning your power, not allowing anything outside of you to um, distort your own perception of yourself, no matter what anyone else is saying their own. That's, that's something to, you know, there's a statement that I really helped me a lot was, um, knowing that it's like, we're not responsible for others distorted perceptions. Like we have no control over anyone's perception of us. It's, it's not our job to control anyone's perception of us. It's our job to act in alignment with our own integrity, with being able to express our own energy in a way that is true for us, regardless of what anyone or anything outside of us is 
throwing at us or projecting on us or whatever we're perceiving as happening to us. It's, it's about knowing that everything is happening for us. And when you learn to respond to people in your power, in a, in a place of unconditional love, you will trust yourself fully in all situations. You will know what is right for you. You'll be able to make all your decisions very quickly and you'll be able to stand behind them. And whenever you aren't able to make a clear decision, you're going to, you're going to have that knowing and wisdom to pull back. That's that ancient soul wisdom. That's like, if something doesn't quite feel right, you give yourself time to feel into it before you just make a decision. And that is beautiful as well, because it's all about honoring the heart, you know, and when we come into a very powerful connection, it's, you know, requires us to really feel into everything. And then with the lightning, with the thunder and lightning, it's like these connections really awaken us to so many things within us that we didn't even really know existed before. So I just feel like this opportunity to release to really speak your truth and stand in your power. And I see this relationship of beautiful reflection for you and um, very, um, just a lot of beautiful energy because the, the honey bee, you know, it's like the honey gets busy making honey because it's just, that's what it loves to go to all the, it's like, you're just gonna be feeling the flow and this person is your, is your reflection, your divine reflection. Um, I mean, if they don't make you feel like a lightning bolt has hit you, they're probably not the one. So they're, <laughs> excuse me, they're going to inspire you to embrace your soul purpose and your life purpose and your creativity and whatever it is that your soul is just longing to express. They're going to encourage you to do that and support you in that journey. And you will them as well. So are you, you know, whatever energies of, am I good enough? Or are they, if they're feeling that way, it's like, that's all, uh, that's all neutralized. You know, when you affirm to each other, you know, and to yourselves first that, you know, you are worthy, that you are this amazing being, and this is all happening for you to truly claim it and say yes to it. Because that's, you know, we, things don't really manifest for us until we say yes to them. And that's the thing, you know, it's already meant to be for us, but we have to say yes. And so, yeah, this is beautiful. I truly hope this message resonated with you and just affirmed what you're feeling and encourages you to stay true to your heart and say yes to those people, places, situations where you feel like you can open and grow and expand and love more deeply and be intimate and vulnerable and passionate and wild and just have a lot of fun and joy along the way. And just who knows, right? You'll, you'll know for sure that you belong. So stay in tune with that energy of where you belong, of who you are and, and know that you're never alone. Okay. I know how you feel. And I say, keep following your heart. You'll, there's no other option really when, once we're on this path, even if we feel like, Oh, you know, we, we still, our hearts, you know, powerful and our higher self will never let us, you know, fall. It, w it, it will let us fall, but it will always help us get right back up. So <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much. Please subscribe, like comment and share. Um, I truly appreciate you guys so much for all of your shares and for your donations, for all the personal readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, um, you can find the information on my website at crystalline.love. Um, you can also follow me on Patreon where I do share messages and I'll be picking that back up again, um, sharing weekly messages over there. And I also have, you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. All of those links are down below. So thank you guys so much and make sure to check out my twin sisters videos as well. Tiana and Ananda's, um, pick a card healing messages. We love you guys and so grateful and honored to share this journey with you. And I will see you again very soon for the next pick a card. All my infinite love as always. Peace out.
All right, group number two. How are you, group number two? Welcome to your reading. So let's see what your higher self wants you to know right now about your deep soul, ancient wisdom, your divine partnership, your counterpart, your divine union, whatever message wants to come through from the innate deep wisdom within you, okay? So you've chosen, this is from the Lover's Oracle. This is a beautiful card. I feel a lot of emotion in this card. I feel a lot of um, reflection, obviously, and emotion and just intimacy. It says, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment, okay? So let's see what your tarot cards are here. We've got King of Cups. Oh, the Lovers. Wow. The Knight of Rods. Very romantic, passionate, beautiful connection here, just in these cards alone. Oh, wow. And the Heart Chakra. These are powerful messages, you guys. Wow. Group number two. This is a very beautiful very beautiful connection, very deeply emotional. You know, there's just no one like this person. This person connects to, you are someone who's, I mean, to have that deep heart connection and soul connection is just, it inspires your, it lights you up. It inspires your life force. See what else we've got here. The butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. So, I mean, we have divine counterparts right here. We have, you know, this maturity and love and wisdom of the heart and heart opening and activation. So this is a very beautiful connection. Let's see what the twin flame messages from mystic moon are. Karma is a bitch. I finally got mine and it all comes down to timing interesting okay let's see how that plays into it wishbone affirmation inner truths number 16 okay share your thoughts number 41 share your thoughts River movement, again with the emotions, there's some emotional releasing going on here. New partner, oh, okay. Self-acceptance, this energy has been coming up quite a bit for everybody, self-acceptance in the last, last little while, but especially the last couple of days. Burden, number 43. Drink more water, ocean, and the sacred phoenix heart, number 21. Oh, wow. The sacred phoenix heart. It's like, you know, a rebirth and rising from the ashes of the old. Oh, wow. I got to feel into this for just a minute here. With wishbone affirmation here, this is affirming something that you have been feeling for quite some time that you're very much desiring, you know, your divine counterpart, divine love, true love, inspired love, alive, creative, amazing, out of this world, love. Like this is out of this world. There's this energy here of, of opening up, um, drink more water. There's, there's with your heart chakra here activating, I feel a lot of, um, emotions that have been kept inside for a long time that need to be released and are being released. Um, healing the inner child growth. Yeah. It's like this energy of transformation, rebirth, letting go of any sort of emotional wounds because this connection is, 
it, the foundation is rooted in unconditional love. So it, it's based on the qualities of unconditional love, which is beauty and compassion and understanding and forgiveness and expansion and creativity and, and um, humility and grace and softness and gentleness, you know, it's, it's a mutual, um, beautiful, mature, loving relationship. So whatever, you know, it's, it's very much aligned with your true frequency. So whatever energies are within you that are not a true resonate resonating energy for you, it's, it's like, you're able to feel what those are. Those will cause emotions that are, that feel, um, that don't feel natural, right? Like feeling sadness or resentment or anger or, um, loss or any of th those sort of energies. Those are not truly rooted in love. Those are energies rooted in fear. And so it's like, why are these here? You know, what are the reasons that they're here? Cause whatever you're feeling is valid. It's there for a reason. And it, it's time to look at it and see that no matter what you're feeling, you are this beautiful, amazing, infinite being who is here to co-create love and to be love and to have love and to share love and give and receive love with the divine counterpart, with those you're meant to co-create with. And so if we aren't sharing our thoughts, our feelings with the ones that we truly feel drawn to share with, in a sense, we're not accepting our own feelings, our own self, and we prevent ourselves from growing. It feels like this energy of burdensome where we're trying to transform our souls, you know, we're, we're growing. And so if we're fighting any sort of change, if we're fighting any sort of emotions, it can feel burdensome. So it's just recognizing what's happening and being coming aware of it, which I feel like you are. I feel like with this new partner here, there could be a new partner. This, you know, it doesn't feel to me like an old relationship, although it feels like old, you know, there's, there's a lot coming to light for you in the past with karma and karmic relationships and, um, lessons and wisdom gained. And it's like, there's this knowing though, this time because of maybe the previous lifetimes, the ancient wisdom that's within you of like, you know, you're choosing love because you know that for whatever reason, you know, it's like, you needed to learn this. You need to have this experience. It needed to somehow, you know, bring this neutral neutrality to something that happened in the past, even a past life. And I feel like you, you're choosing that, you know, choosing love, choosing to let go. And there may be someone from your past that you're missing that you're longing for, but it could also be that there's a new person coming in that reflects now the true qualities of who you really are. And maybe someone new that you don't even have any idea of that's manifesting in your life. That's just such a beautiful divine reflection of you that inspires you to like see life in a whole new way. Someone who shows true love and compassion and maturity in their emotions and really connects with you. I see this as a, a new person entering your life, but truly it's someone that you will know right from the very moment, like there just will be something about them and, and the way that they communicate with you will feel so resonant in your soul that it's like, it's, it's about trusting that everything happens for a reason. And when we choose to learn from them, you know, with the inner truths here, um, we choose to really go within, this is like speaks to going within like the deepest parts of your soul and the, in the dark caverns and finding the treasures that are within there, you know, the, your, your spiritual gifts and your intuition and your knowing and your dreams and your visions and, you know, the things that you're naturally drawn to create and, and share and express and experience. Um, it's being really honest with yourself so that, you know, you fully love and accept everything about yourself. And when you do, you see this, you know, infinite connection to your source and this infinite supply of treasures to tap into and experience and share with the world. And, and you're, you know, you're able to be open to a divine counterpart. This the person you're meant to just, you know, coming into this, seeing your divine treasures and what's inside there, you, you have nothing to hide. It's like, there's this beauty to knowing your own inner truth and loving yourself anyways, you know, no matter what it is and allowing yourself to grow and learn from it, like the butterfly and the Phoenix here. 
and drinking more water is really going to help your emotions. Um, it'll help your body stay hydrated and, and keep the energy flowing. Cause if sometimes if we don't drink enough water, it affects our, well, it affects our body. It dehydrates us. It puts our body into a state of fear. It affects our relationships because the relationships are based on love. And so whatever we can do to support our bodies, our well-being is really important as we're coming into union with ourselves. Obviously that's a part of self-love. And then, you know, it's, it's being able to maintain that in your relationships, because if we start looking outside of ourselves too much, then we lose that connection with our own inner center point, our, our own groundedness. And then it creates, um, something sacred, you know, we can, we can create issues that we don't, you know, need to, but it's all a learning experience. And so when you know your own shadows, when you know your own inner truths and you love and accept yourself anyway, you can let go of resentment. You can let go of, you know, other people's perceptions of you. And they just, you know, it's, it's like when we make cho choices rooted in fear, we're not, we're making choices from a disconnected place. So, and where most of us aren't even aware of it. So share your thoughts. I want to read that and just see what it says. This is um, from the messenger Oracle. It's number 41. You have hopes, dreams, goals, and ideas. Do not guard your ideas jealously, nor keep them locked within for fear that another may steal them or offer a ridicule instead of support. It's time to share your vision. Tell Great Spirit and Gaia of your dreams and hopes so that they may send you what you need. Speak of your dreams to others too. Connect with those who share your goals and hopes for they may be able to help you realize your dreams sooner. So I think as you really connect with your innate gifts and begin sharing them and you know that will bring confidence. There's with the Knight of Rods here, it's like there's this inspired passionate beautiful new path before you that you're embarking on and it's taking action inspired action in your in towards your dreams it's when you feel the passion that that's the that is what you want to act on um it's movement you know with the river here it's like your emotions are so fueled by love and you just feel charged with this beautiful energy of your heart of, you know, it's like you feel it. This connection is so deep. You feel it so deep in your whole body. It's like your emotions are just flowing, but they're not, it's not a, an emotion to fear emotions to fear. It's like, you're embracing them. It's like, they could even make you cry just tears of pure joy. And that's your heart. You know, it doesn't mean you're walking around like a crybaby. It means like, you're just like, wow, it's that energy of just feeling so grateful and aligned with love and, and feeling, you know, worthy of receiving it, you know, self-acceptance here and new partner and not being afraid of your transformation and who you're becoming and, you know, laying down whatever burdens are, are weighing on you. This is, you know, releasing that, seeing what's no longer serving you anymore, you know, and truly following your inspired ideas, your inspired, you know, the river is, it's got a lot of bends and twists and sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's slow and sometimes there's waterfalls and rocks and other times it's just chilling, you know, and it might take a while, but it's always returning to its source. It knows, you know, it just flows and it's, it's headed towards home. No matter what, the river is always going to make its way to the ocean. And it's all about enjoying the journey along the road, the way, you know, knowing that you're on the path to union with yourself, your divine counterpart, the people you're meant to have this life with to emotions of joy and, you know, true authentic happiness and contentment. It's about learning how to love yourself and, and digging deep within your soul, finding those treasures within because they're needed for your soul purpose. It's all a part of your transformation. Um, it's all a part of your shadow work and what you came here to transmute. And I just feel like the universe is aligning you with another that is your, a beautiful like mirror vibrational match and you're going to feel it so strong in your heart. It's going to be undeniable if you haven't met them already. Um, 
and these relationships can be quite quite a wild ride you know so you've got to you've got to be ready in a sense of you know knowing that life is not perfect it's you know there's always things happening. And so it's all about your approach. This is something you've been wishing for. And I want to read this to you. Um, the sacred Phoenix heart. So this is from the Rumi deck. It's the number 21. I love these channeled messages. This is, um, Alana Fairchild. She's amazing. So this is the Rumi poem that goes with this card. Under the cover of blood, love veils many rose gardens. In total faith, love tenderly guides every lover to the garden of the heart. Reason says the world is limited in six directions. There is no way out. Love says there is a way, and I have traveled it many times. Rumi. How I adore your defiant, rebellious heart. It knows that what it knows that what for the mind is an end is for the heart simply another match to ignite the sacred flames. It eats of love until it is filled and then becomes hungry again and eats more again. And again and again, it eats of love until it is so full it must simply explode into a sacred fire of passion. It bursts, incapable of sustaining old consciousness in the expanse of blessings unlimited, lavishing upon it through the great beloved's affection. It would be like attempting to fit an ocean in a teacup, so it does not. It bursts forth like a dying star into spectacular radiance, only to be reborn again, new and hungry for the next feeding frenzy in love's great banquet. How I adore your defiant, spectacular heart. Love guides us through travails that seem improbable, if not impossible. It does not shy away from any challenge, from any cause. It cannot. It is just love's way. Love says to us, there is always another way. You are receiving this guidance now. Perhaps you were scratching your head quizzically or in deepest despair because you appear to have met a dead end, a frowning no, or a dismissive laugh upon your quest to bring love alive. So then, do you choose to believe in love or in the death of sorts your heart faces? Your heart shall rally. I choose death because that is the portal to new life. And so it is wise, you see. But you must be brave. To be burned in love, by love, for love, will involve endurance of pain, but it will also place it in context. It is, it is the shorter pain that is not compounded by erroneous thinking. That pain comes and goes quite quickly when you realize that love is simply, playfully smacking your wrist and saying, Not that way, beloved. There are great pitfalls on that path. Come, take this one where there shall be wine and dancing. So you are guided to accept the closed doors, the death, the pain, and to let it become tinder for your fire. Cry whatever tears need to be cried so your tinder can be dry and ready to create the sparks your heart needs. That sacred phoenix ready to die into life within you is hungry for the fire. Let it feast so it can fulfill its potential, its divine destiny, and become born again into new form, more divinely aligned and alive than ever, ever before. This oracle comes with a message for you. You may feel as though you've been wandering in a desert for many years with no oasis in sight. You might have been through darkness, through trials, endured confusion and uncertainty as you sought for your truth, sought divine revelation, and sought your purpose to confirm your plans. Seek no more. The answers are now given, or very soon will be, and the life, the passion, the purpose, it will all come to you in clarity. Does life need to be grasped for? It is bestowed according to grace and destiny. It, not need, it, not, it need not be sought as much as received. The spiritual destiny that calls your soul, even whilst you may feel your bodily ears are deaf to the call, makes your heart leap. It, it, is, though, it is as though hearing the beloved's voice and stirring an ancient memory of love so powerful moves you, even without you necessarily understanding how or why. So let the life come to you. Be prepared to let the old version of your life pass away into the new life now being born. What does this mean? It means letting go of your striving, your opinions, your doubts, your despairs, and your fears. Life wants to happen through you, blazing angel. You don't have to do much other than get out of your own way. Love is your nature. Let it flourish, and life shall unfold accordingly. This oracle brings a particular message regarding divine timing. 
that oh so insignificant factor in our dreams coming to life. Your time is fast approaching. It may even be now. It may seem least likely to you. There may be great darkness or confusion, and yet the unveiling of the new dawn is closer, closest to the deepest, darkest of night. Do not turn back or away from your progress. Your very next steps shall be upon hallowed ground, rendered golden by the rays of the rising sun. It all comes down to timing. I, You know what I'm really feeling in this reading, and this is really, really important that you really go deep into your emotions as much as you can to really ask yourself, you know, what love truly is and how you want to be loved and how you love because whatever is not of love needs to be released. If it's a person, a place, a thing, and just letting go of all expectations, being open to whatever you have, your soul, your higher self has chosen for you to experience, knowing that that is ultimately what you want because your soul knows what it is that brings you joy and happiness and that's the path you're on. So there may be a relationship that needs to be released in order for this to be fully embraced, this new partner. And if it's someone that you've met, you know, it's like this is someone who will come in a way that is already in alignment with the love that you are, that you offer, that you give. And so it's being open to receive it and to let things in the past honor them for what they were you know let there be closure and death and peace and all of that and understanding and gratitude and honor for what it what it helped you learn about yourself and um you know all of those aspects of life and growing i feel like you're you're truly about to experience divine love and in, in a way that you've never imagined before so trust and have faith and know that everything happens for a reason. And when you're truly in tune with your emotions that are rooted in love, you're going to know it's, it's allowing the universe to show you its intentions and, you know, trusting that what you have aligned for yourself is truly, it's like you're, you're just, your heart, it, it, it knows love you know love what it feels like you've been wishing for this and it's it, this to me feels like affirmation to what you have been feeling so release the burdens allow yourself to just keep transforming choosing love and trust divine timing i i mean this is this right here is just beautiful i mean it's there's definitely a very deep beautiful connection coming in and your ancient wisdom within you is is very much guiding you right now and helping you through this beautiful transformation, releasing any emotions that are, you know, hard to carry that are burdensome so that you can be fully open to receive all this beautiful love that you are reflected back to you. I just love it. So be gentle with yourself and your heart and that will give you strength, believe it or not and trust you know you're not alone you are so guided this is really beautiful and you're going to be continuing to learn so much about yourself so share your thoughts share your journey the more you share with those you trust and feel those deep spiritual connections with the more that you will really embrace your self in just ways you i mean learning about yourself and your journey is so amazing so I'm very happy for you and I truly hope this message resonated and just brought affirmation to what you're feeling and some guidance moving forward. Thank you guys so much for um, tuning in, for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing for all your donations. I truly appreciate it. Um, please make sure you check out my twin sisters videos if you feel guided. I'll put links for their videos down below. Um, love healing messages and future predictions. Um, for certain life aspects um, and if you're interested in a personal reading I do offer those you can find that information on my website at crystalline.love I also have a patreon page where I offer messages um, and I'd love to have you um, over there that would be amazing and you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook and all my social media links are down below so thank you again you guys Love you all so much, and I will see you again very soon for the next pick a card. All my infinite love. Peace out.
Hello, group number three. How are you guys? So let's see what your soul, your higher self wants you to know about your ancient wisdom within right now in regards to this relationship, partnership. Um, ooh, I feel, I feel transformation in this. The last message was about is very much this energy of transformation and expansion and growth. And I, I just feel this in this card. We'll start with this. Yes. Transformation. I, I've, I think I've pulled this card before. So your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Transformation. So I love that. Number two may resonate with you as well. How, how cool. Okay. Let's see what your tarot cards are. We've got the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So there's this energy of coming out of heartbreak, of loss, of pain, of embracing unconditional love and persisting. You know, it's like it's it's like a transformation occurring on both in both people with unconditional love as, you know, the root, as the foundation, learning self-love, learning how to heal your own wounds from your own journeys and how to receive love, you know, creating boundaries, learning what true unconditional love is by taking care of your well-being, your health, your mind, your emotions, staying persistent, you know, as we move from fear to love, it's, it's a journey and it's, it's, you know, sometimes taking a break and taking a rest, you know, not giving up, not quite there, but not where we were. So I feel like this is really beautiful. And here your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. I feel this energy of perseverance. This love is very strong, allowing you to overcome any obstacles. Open up the four of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. So in this deck, it's really about opening your heart, um, you know, not, not having to, not feeling like you need to guard your heart anymore, really opening your heart, being transparent, being seen for who you are, um, allowing others to see you being there for others, um, seeing more through that filter of abundance and prosperity versus lack or something missing separation it's more about opening up to divine love to true unconditional love and saying no more to fear and pain and all of that in the physical so i really like that twin flame messages from mystic moon we've got i just got sidetracked and i see a little part of you in everyone i meet so yeah i mean it's this is beautiful there's a transformation going from being more ego rooted in the ego to being more rooted in the soul and really trusting the soul and the heart and recognizing, you know, why we experience heartbreak unnecessarily when we're rooted in the ego. So I feel like this, this awareness of it's like recognition of um, what true love is and seeing a little bit of a little part of you and everyone I meet. So it's like, it's that beautiful energy of love of, of feeling that connection with someone that's that energy of safety and um, intimacy and vulnerability and being able to be who you really are, like they see you for who you really are. And so you, you know, it's, it's this energy of being able to see your own reflection and knowing that you are seen. Um, Whereas, you know, in like in the past, I feel like it's like maybe we weren't seeing each other for who we really were, which made it hard to see our own ref divine reflections, which leads to kind of getting sidetracked or distracted, you know, because the ego is very distracted or easily distracted, right? We all have to learn, you know, what is truly right for us and what isn't, what's just, you know, distracting us from our own souls and hearts knowing. So yeah this is beautiful i just feel this energy of opening up keys on a ring many options decision unconventional string along one night stand so 
it could be that this is energy of just sifting and sorting and figuring it all out, like becoming more aware of um, who we really are, our own divine reflection, um, the love that we really are. Let's see what your cards are. Fire, spontaneity. Okay, I feel that's your soul. Seek the lesson. Number 35 with the wolf here. That's a beautiful card. A lot of 35s coming out today. Love, compassion. Opportunity to forgive. Hand of Fatima. This is your roomy card. I'll read this to you. Be gentle with yourself. Number 33. Freedom, number six. The eagle, number nine, which is spirit, integrity, connection to the angelic realm, and detach from drama. Okay, so I feel like right now for you and your relationship with your divine counterpart, there's something that needs to be released, something that needs to be healed. And it's happening right now. And it's like, I feel like both parties are aware of what this is. And also knowing that as this is released, it is opening up this energy of love and connection and deepening. And so I, I feel this beautiful energy of unconditional love of really tuning into compassion of, of gentleness. The soul is gentle, right? It's, it's soft. It's beauty. It, it's kind. It's listening and understanding. So it's like, I feel like you guys have been like just going, going on your journey, you know, and there's like your manifestors, you have options, your lovers, your, your, there for other people, you know, but it's like, you're, you've been on this, it's been exhausting almost, and you're ready to truly embrace love, to create boundaries with yourself, you know, healthy boundaries with others to connect to your spirit guides, your higher self, the angels, you know, having the eyes in the sky, connecting with Gaia, really seeking out freedom for within yourself and without detaching from drama, things that you, you can't change to focus on love and harmony and balance. And, you know, I feel like it's, it's been a journey here with the number 33, be gentle with yourself. Let me read that card. Um, it's like you've come out of something, you know, a time of new birth and energy is upon you. Draw on the lessons you have learned to assist you in moving forward. Notice how you've grown and changed as a result of everything that has transpired. Gather information as you go and be ready for new adventure. All signs are positive for successful outcomes at this time. So that's really beautiful. There's been, um, there's been a powerful lesson for you. And it says, wisdom is born from seeking the lesson in all experiences, both the good and bad. It is born from the awareness that everything is connected and that all happens for a reason, even when the reason remains a mystery. Embrace a new idea, a new awareness, or the new knowledge that comes from listening to your internal voice and to the human and non-human teachers and messengers who will come in and out of your life. Let them inspire you to explore unknown pathways. So this is a really beautiful time for you to go within and really gain the wisdom of the experiences that you've been through to forgive yourself and others for anything that was rooted in fear and knowing that you're moving forward in love. You have many options in front of you right now, but it's like knowing that you know, it's like the keys on a ring. There might be many keys, but there's only one key to your heart. And you're going to feel that in everything. You know, it's like the things you're really drawn to, the people you're really drawn to, it's because they reflect a piece of your heart in some way that is just so familiar and comforting. And so it's knowing, you know, that you have the choice to choose. And 
seeing a little part of you and everyone I meet, if you were to see a little part of yourself and everyone you meet, everyone you meet would be a part of you and you of them. It would just flow effortlessly. So I feel like you're, you're being guided to really forgive yourself for anything you may have aligned to in the past that wasn't truly authentic for you and to forgive and release others to their path, you know, and to be gentle with yourself moving forward that you make choices based in love, obviously that are, you know, compassionate for yourself and for others, um, really learning about what love is and detaching from any sort of drama that just wants to keep feeding on the fear and just keep the argument going, you know, because Pallas Athena, she knows her true power is in, um, you know, wisdom and patience, having the patience to let people cool down and, you know, go within and sort things out to be able to approach the situation from your heart and integrity and in your, in the true energy that you really are. Um, and the freedom card here, this is healing and it's finding that freedom within yourself, knowing that you're sovereign, that you're, you came here to be a true free sovereign being a co-creator and to be the love that you are. So I really, um, feel like whatever experiences that you had to go through, it was all for the higher good, for the higher purpose, for you to gain this wisdom so that you can fully embody the love that you came here to embody. So, you know, and in order to really be free, you know, like this freedom card is in the dark with the full moon. And, and in order to truly claim our freedom, it requires us to face our fears, our shadows, our dark, to embrace the dark within us as well as the light. You know, to come to that place within where we understand the energies within ourselves, good and bad, light and dark, you know, scary, embarrassing, shameful, guilty, all of those, you know, joy, all of it. It's, it's like in order to become a true master of your energy, you have to experience and know what the energies are within you and how, you know, it's about trusting yourself to know that you're going to respond from a place of love, no matter what feelings are coming up within you. And that's shadow work. You know, it's being aware of that and not being afraid to face those things and knowing that you're not alone. You have, you've got so much support around you. Love just comes in and supports you in a very strong yet gentle way to release anything that's keeping you from truly feeling the freedom. Um, I want to read the divination of the ancients card here, spontaneity, or just take a look at it here. Okay. So yeah, this, this one talks about not holding back in any way. Like if you are ready to speak your truth, if you're ready to, um, take action, it's like this card is like, do it, go for it. Now's the time to speak your truth, to say, what you need to say to stand up for what it is that you are feeling. This is like your soul fire, just like your feelings, everything. So, I mean, if, if you're feeling this desire to deepen a bond, if you're feeling this connection, like, I feel like this is affirmation to that, you know, to trust what you're feeling and giving yourself permission to say yes to what it is that really truly lights your heart on fire because that's when you begin man you know it's like when you say yes the universe says yes so speak your truth whatever this this truth is it's like connected to your higher self it's connected to you being encouraged to open up in the physical to keep you know it's going to give you energy to keep persevering through whatever shadows come up that need to be addressed it's like choosing the key to your own heart and seeing a piece of yourself and everyone you meet, you're going to be able to process the past lessons and come into union with, you know, your true authentic self. Um, wow. It's like this beautiful release, this energy of releasing, loving and coming into union. So I, take this how it resonates for you, but I think this is really beautiful and just affirmation that you're right where you're supposed to be. 
So I want to read this card to you to finish the reading. Number 43, it's the Hand of Fatima. This is from the Rumi deck by Alana Fairchild. So this is the Rumi poem. Let's make sure the camera's still on. <laughs> I can never leave you, not for a moment, not for an hour. You are in everything I do. You are my everything. You are dr my drink is your sweetness. I move to your command. I am a surrendered prey in your hands, and you are my consuming lion. Your soul and my soul are truly one soul. I swear to our one soul, I long for no one but you. In the garden of your grace, I am only a germinating sprout. The crown of my blooming is the desire to be in your arms, Rumi. My hand watches over you. It brings you blessings and comfort, protection and grace. Radiant with divinity am I. And you are my child, my beloved, my angel and my body too. I shall never leave you. Turn your inner eye to me and see the light of my grace in your heart. You cannot be harmed. You cannot be defiled. You can only ever be what you are, me alive, radiant with love. You are giving birth to more spirit than you have ever held before. During such times, a divine midwife can be helpful and supportive. This is Fatima, radiant daughter of the great beloved who reaches from the skies, who reaches up from within your body, from deep within the earth and brings you the gift of protection, grace, and love. You are safe, you are held, and you are bound within her warmth. She has received your prayers and she honors your devotion to life, to love, and to growth. She will help you. Ask for her blessings daily. You can use the simple sacred honoring ritual to do so if you need guidance on how to pray to her, but any words from your heart spoken in authenticity will suffice, no matter how simple or ornate they may be. She responds to the feeling behind the words and she responds instantly beyond time and space. In fact, she has responded even now, perhaps before you even knew she was needed. This oracle brings you the guidance that what is being born in your life right now in your own consciousness as a seed, perhaps of a new way of being, a new idea, belief system, philosophy, or sense of self is going to come to maturity under the loving protection of the Divine Mother. You are also being asked to heed your intuition and instincts. Have some discernment about who you involve yourself with and how you choose to use your time and energy. Allow yourself to feel Fatima's guidance and comfort in you by giving yourself permission to be nurtured through your own choices and the people or situations you say yes or no to in your life. This is a way to honor her presence and allow her to help you, which she wishes to do in all ways possible. Love in all things you see, dearest angel, and that means saying no can mean saying yes to something greater. So give yourself permission to say your no and yes as dictated by your heart. This oracle also brings you the message that your body is sacred and worth your attention. You do not have to become obsessed. You do not have to push or judge your body. You can honor him or her as a sacred animal through which your spirit creates soul and expresses itself in the world. This is a truly wonderful and amazing gift, extraordinary and yet fraught with challenge. The spirit can be powerful. Sometimes it can be hesitant too, enough to really engage with the body and come to life. There's a story that the angels sang music to lure the spirit into the body, but used, but used to its freedom, it was reluctant to experience itself in what looked like rather confining matter. The spirit did not know that Fatima would be initiating the spirit into her mysteries through the body. She was going to be sharing the sensuality of life, the sacredness of love, the deep mystery of life, death, and rebirth, and the wonders of nature. She was going to show the divine could live not only in light, but also in flesh. Fatima holds the wildness of divine feminine wisdom and the sanctity of life. She has great gifts of ecstatic presence, only able to be experienced through the spirit living in the body. She will share this if you allow her to guide you. Once the spirit recognizes this, even just gets a whiff of Fatima's glorious fragrance. The enthusiasm for life ignites and the wonders of the world experienced through the body become a way to revere the great beloved and turn all of life into the temple of love. This oracle also comes with guidance. Giving your body rest and healing is most beneficial at this time. There are symptoms you are experiencing, anything from fuzzy head headedness to tiredness and aches and pains as well as shifts in body temperature that seem unbalanced. And these are directly related, if not solely, to the interaction of your spiritual essence with your sacred animal body. 
These will even out under Fatima's grace and protection like two housemates learning to live together and enhance each other rather than distract and annoy each other with their quirks and differences. This settling and process will happen all the more easily when you ask for Fatima's help. This oracle also advises that you ask for help and protection in any matter, it will be granted. There is no exception to this rule. There is nothing you have done that has made you unworthy of divine intervention, grace, and love. Not one thing ever. Ask, trust, and receive. Wow. So this is beautiful because I feel this energy of a lot of self-love, a lot of self-care, um, really being focused on your path very true to your heart and your there's so much support and guidance around your transformation and really embodying um the life force energy you know the fire within you so this is really beautiful you're on the right track you're you're experiencing a lot so go easy it's one day at a time you know it's one day at a time in and it's not a race it's not a competition it's simply you know aligning to what is right for us, choosing the highest good, the best that we can every day, and allowing our creativity, our inspiration, our fire, our heart to lead the way and to fuel us, you know, through any sort of things we've got to, you know, it's like it gets easier and easier the more we detach from, from dramas, the more we learn from our past and embrace the future in love and forgiveness moving forward, being gentle, being in alignment with humility in the heart and true strength and courage and bravery. So this is amazing. You know, it's, it's embodying this true love and compassion and having that for yourself and others being that true divine reflection of what true unconditional love is. I mean, this is beautiful. So balance, harmony and, and coming together and healing and, um, really observing that, you know, within and without, you know, in a whole new way and being able to express it and embody it. So, because of your, your willingness to learn so and grow and, and be who you are. So this is your message, you guys. This is beautiful. Congratulations and thank you so much for being who you are and sharing this amazing journey of love. I, I just see so much growth and beauty in your life. And thank you for all that you contribute and for just being who you are and having the this the perseverance, you know, the attitude to keep going and embrace love and and just know how supported you are in every single moment. You know, that strength that comes from your soul is there for a reason and it's guiding you and it will only get better from here on out. So, wow, I think this is amazing, you guys. Thank you so much. I truly hope it affirmed what you're feeling and offered guidance moving forward. And thank you so much, you guys, for um, subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing, and for all your donations. I'm just so grateful and honored to share these messages and to receive all of your love and support. And please make sure you check out my twin sister's um, videos as well um, for love healing messages from Tiana and future predictions on certain life aspects from Ananda. If you feel guided, um, we are so grateful to offer you know, anything we can towards healing and staying true and aligned to your authentic self. And, um, I thank you guys so much. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, I do offer those. You can find that information on my website at crystalline.love. I also, um, you can follow me on Patreon where I do offer messages over there for my beautiful Patreons. I'd be honored if you want to join me over there, or you can find me on my social media, Instagram, um, Facebook, those links are down below. So until next time, you guys, thank you again so much. I truly enjoy sharing these messages and I'll see you again very, very soon for the next pick a card. All my infinite love as always. Peace out. All right, group number four, how are you guys? Welcome to your reading and let's see what your higher self wants you to know about your beautiful, innate soul wisdom, you know, that ancient wisdom that resides deep within your soul at this time for your journey of love, your divine relationships, counterparts, 
whatever message wants to come through for you guys. So you were drawn to this heart, which is beautiful. Okay. And the message is friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. This is beautiful. Let's see what your tarot cards are here. We've got take the lead or the three of wands, the star, temperance, and the seven of cups. So there's, wow, there's this beautiful energy of It's like, wow, it's like this energy of two people, what I'm feeling, who are standing on this path, like both people on their path. They know they've chosen love. They're moving forward. They've already begun the journey. You know, it's like, I feel like this energy where with the seven of cups here, there's a lot of options. There's opportunities and in, in being fulfilled emotionally in different paths that are being presented because of choosing to be in alignment with love. Right. And it's like <clears throat> coming back into that energy of love and, and being that in that energy of friendship again, where you're open and you're able to share things about yourself and be silly and laugh and be intimate and just kind of nurture the energy of friendship. And that comes with being in alignment with who you really are and healing. And with the star here in temperance, to me, this feels like a lot of healing and balance and harmony and just alchemizing of, you know, so many things like from the past and moving forward. It's like, you've been through a lot and you're in this really beautiful energy of, of being healed and whole and complete and, and being open to, deepening friendships and bonds and meeting new people and connections. It's like, you're not opposed to it because you just know that you can feel what's destined for you, what's right for you, what's in alignment with you. And you're also, you know, you have this healing effect on others because of it. It's really beautiful with the three of wands here. This to me is like, take the lead. It's, it's, trusting your soul and it's taking steps forward that are inspired, you know, that light you up, that feel the flame in a sense moving forward. And it's like, you have all the knowing inside to take those steps forward or to be patient, to wait for the things coming in. It's like, you have this sense, this knowing of what is meant for you and how it's all playing out. So it's really beautiful. There's a lot of light. Like I'm just seeing a lot of guidance even when things are dark, it's like you're focused, you're positive, you know, things are not always what they seem, you know, you have a lot of options. And so you're feeling into what is truly right for you. And it's like this energy of knowing that friendship is really important, you know, knowing that it's more than just romance. It's more than just, you know, two people being together. It's about also being best friends and, and being able to have that person that you can be completely 100%, you know, in full love and trust and communication and, and all of that. So I really like that. Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So yeah, it's like letting go of all, all of those um, energies of fear that are not, you know, they don't nurture friendships. They don't nurture bonds and closeness and intimacy. That energy of those relationships is done. You're, you're, you know, choosing to heal and keep moving forward. And I think that's beautiful. So these are from twin flame messages from mystic moon. I don't know if I'm cut out for this and I'm sorry. I held myself back with you. Okay. So we'll see, we'll see how those feel here in a minute. So we've got dreams incubation. Embrace the dark number nine. Okay, got some so, some unconscious energy, subconscious energy coming through here. Lake stillness, <clears throat> giving and receiving. Okay, this is your roomy card, blessing of Zara. I feel like I pull these same cards for you guys all the time. I don't know, but it's it's the message that wants to come through, so I'll take it. Um, seek beauty. Oh, wow. I really like the colors. 
Ooh, awareness, number 13. The Wind Fairy, number 29, and Work Your Magic, St. Germain. You've got you've got a lot of um <laughs> your higher self is really speaking to you right now, like whispering in your ear, talking to you through nature. Um, attracting you through your eye to certain beautiful things. Um, you're having dreams. You may, I mean, your dreams are really speaking to you right now. And this is about stuff that's really rooted deep in your subconscious. This is your deep ancient wisdom coming to the surface. And in order for you to fully receive the, the information, the wisdom that's within you, you've got to embrace the dark, you know, to become aware in the darkness that, that we are all light and dark and, and dark is not something to be afraid of or hide from. It's in fact a part of who you are. The earth is dark energy. Um, it's, it's dark matter in a sense the, the it's, it's not negative. It's not, it's just the, 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 the energy of the physical reality. And so it's being aware of what, what we're working with in a sense. And also recognizing that you are all energies, like all energies reside within you. And so it's about a tuning into the true frequency of unconditional love and allowing yourself to learn about these energies, um, knowing that you're guided, knowing that there's nothing truly to fear. Um, it's like, I feel like you have this magic you're being reminded of that you have it's like your spiritual gifts. There's something about your gifts that you're being guided to access and to share again and to work again, like something that you've already tapped into before with St. Germain. Um, and it's time for you to tap back into it again. It's something you've already become aware of. You've got some beautiful divine thoughts coming in, some beautiful divinely inspired ideas for healing, for sharing. Um, the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. I almost feel like you have, like you're you've been giving a lot and you're about to receive, like you're receiving a lot of healing. You're receiving a lot of affirmation. You're receiving a lot of synchronicities and alignments and your gifts. You know, it's like you're receiving a lot of downloads right now. And with the Lake stillness card here, it's, it requires you to be still in order to truly hear your higher self, to truly hear and become aware of those energies because the energies that are true, that are based in the true. And when I say true, I mean the energy that is the life force energy that is of well-being, of unconditional love, the creator source energy. It is very subtle. It is very subtle. It is very soft. It is very gentle. It feels naturally good. It's, it feels like trust. It's comforting. It's quiet. It's silence, you know, to be able to Turn off the thoughts in a sense and just listen to your heart and listen to Gaia. Listen to your higher self, which your higher self will only speak to you in words of true unconditional love, of respect, of honor. It will never condemn you or put you down or make you feel anything other than divine. It will never put you on a pedestal either. <laughs> you know, it's like finding it's you. It's your true divine reflection energy self and your higher self is guiding you to get very still so you can receive that information. I feel like there's, you know, especially with this card here too, it's like the energy coming in, you know, really allowing your higher self to penetrate you and shine a light in some places that maybe you're, you know, it's, you may not even be aware of with dreams, things coming up from your past from your childhood, from your past lives, from whatever, um, that is helping you shine light on something that maybe held you back in the past from truly embracing, you know, whatever it is that you were 
healing from at this time. So I want to see, this is also, this is from the messenger oracle. I just want to see, it's in your deck, so I'm going to read it to you really quick. I want to see what it says. You've been taught that all is either good or evil, negative or positive. Good gives rise to good and bad gives rise to bad. It is wrong to have feelings of anger, dislike, or fear as these emotions are born out of shadow self. This is not truth. Everything happens for a reason. Love can give rise to destruction and hate can inspire acts of genuine love. The lessons offered by our shadow often teach us the most. Know your shadow self, love it. Without the darkness, the stars cannot be seen. So, I mean, there is a reason for everything and it's about truly being able to love and accept the darkness within you and ask what the purpose is of it, you know, and why does it exist and why is it there and, and what is it teaching you about yourself and your own power and your own, you know, magic within you because with great power comes great responsibility and as infinite beings, we have access to all. And so when we are aligned with the truth of who we are, unconditional love, we, we are very mindful about how we focus our energy. You know, we understand that there, our energy is very powerful and it has the potential to harm or create. So seeking beauty, aligning with beauty, aligning with what is beautiful to your soul, what brings out the beauty in your soul. That is ultimately, you know, a very great way to gauge what the energy of love is like this lake and stillness, you know, there, there doesn't need to be movement and hustle and bustle and talking and all of this, you know, simply listening in a, a nature setting is, is like a amazing how much information will come through as opposed to being in a busy place with everyone chatting and talking, can't hear anything. Right. So I feel like you're, you know, it's like seeking out the beauty and even the most, this is something for me that I've always been attracted to doing as, as a photographer. It's like, I like to find the flowers growing through the cracks in the sidewalk and to, you know, nurture that beauty in a sense, to showcase it, to, to reflect. It's like, Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. And as we see the world, as we see ourselves, the beauty within ourselves, our divinity, and we see the world in that way, everything transforms. We naturally begin to nurture our environment, our relationships. We improve them. We, you know, we care for them. We love them. We inspire them. All of those things. And that's seeking beauty. It's like when you tune into the energy of love and what it represents, it is beauty. It is wisdom. It is patience. So it's about aligning with those qualities, you know, by focusing on those qualities and see, re seeing and recognizing those qualities within yourself, you will see them in the external with the, the awareness card here. Number 13, um, from earth wisdom. <clears throat> oh, this is cool. So it aids the, the flower on this card is mugwort, which aids dream work and develops integrates and controls psychic abilities and the stone is moonstone which enhances extraordinary awareness so that's pretty cool it says there are whole whole worlds that are unseen by ordinary awareness you have the capacity for extraordinary awareness work on developing your psychic skills and pay close attention to your dreams things are not always as they seem and you will need all your senses physical and metaphysical in order to move forward I pay attention to the whole world, the seen and, and the unseen. I look below appearances and see the truth beneath. I continually strengthen my seeing skills. Wow. Okay, so as you heal your heart, as you heal anything from the past, and you tune into your higher self, you start writing down your dreams. Um, because I feel like there is, you know, things coming up from the subconscious that even if it doesn't make sense right now, as time passes and you look back on what you've wrote, it will all begin to make sense. Like, like pieces of a puzzle, you know, all coming together. And I mean, I've written down dreams and I'm so grateful I did because I don't even remember writing them now. 
you know, when you go back and read it, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't remember writing that, but it's like so profound, you know? And it's like, I'm really glad I did that because it helped me. It's just like helping your own self. It's helping your own self kind of figure out your own journey. So when you write things down for yourself, when you're in that energy of receiving from your higher self and you just write things down without judgment and simply as, you know, your human self kind of just writing down the journey so you can go back and, and put the pieces together for your own self. It's just so cool the way it all, how you connect, you're able to un, like pick up on your own higher self, what it's telling you. So if you, the more you connect to your higher self, the more you really pay attention to what's coming from within you instead of what's outside of you, you're going to recognize your higher self in the external world and what's right. Like that's how it is when I'm going about now. It's like, does this feel like my higher self? And if it doesn't, I know it's not for me. If it does, then I know it is. So temperance is about patience, you know, and, and the star to me always feels like it's that energy where you're aligning with your destiny. There's been some sort of faded event you chose to learn learn and grow and go within and heal. And so now, you know, the stars align and you're, it's like, it's like expanding into your greater version and your, and the timeline that's in alignment with, you know, where you are right now. So, okay. I'm going to read this for you. I just feel a lot of awareness coming in a lot of, um, and it's important for you to know what is, what is true. It's like, I feel like friendship is really highlighted here because, the bonds that are really nourishing to your heart and soul are truly rooted in friendship. You know, being able to have that, that beautiful connection with someone, you know, that is your best friend that you can be yourself and say anything to and share anything with. And is a, you know, advice and confidant teacher and partner and all of that. So, you know, equal give and receive. And so it's like, yeah, I just, it's like you want to know yourself and love yourself and be really aware of your own self and what's important to you so that when you, you know, when the time is right, when all of it, it's like, you're just, it's just going to be so easy and effortless. And it's like, you come to a point where there's, it's, you know, there's lots of opportunities out there, but the only option for you is what's right for your heart. You know, that's, there's no options. It's just aligning to what's right for you. And I feel like this is a part of your, um, gift in a sense of being able to feel the energies in a sense like me of like fine tuning the voice of what's true for you, your, your higher self. And it has something to do also with this relationship, activating your gifts, because it's the more you align with what's meant for you, the more is activated within you. That is, that is your true nature. So I just, I see that with this energy coming in. It's like, um, as you say yes to what, you know, yourself and they're like, this is me. I'm, you know, choosing love and alignment and all of these things. It's like, it's just, it's just all over. So I'm going to read this. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to see what it says here. Number 39, blessing of Zara. <clears throat> Okay, so it says, let go of thought. Don't take it into your heart. You are naked and thought is like ice. You use thought to seek release from suffering and pain while thought is the cause of your suffering and pain. The realm of creation is outside the scope of thought. Oh, foolish one, see the opus and behold the beauty. Look in the direction from which the image flows. See the brook that causes the wheel to turn. Rumi. I wish to pull that false confection from your mouth. Oh, I know you will open your mouth even wider to scream like the terrible cry of a toddler denied. But the moment you open your mouth wide and draw breath to bemoan the outrageous travesty of your loss, I shall shove my divine finger dripping with nectar into your gaping mouth. I'll let you suckle then, surprised and contented by the sweetness that surpasses all other sweets. When we are hungry, we reach for what food is available. If we are starving, we may gorge upon what is before us only to find ourselves overfed, undernourished, and in a most un uncomfortable and dissatisfied state. Your soul needs better quality food. It has been detoxing. You have been shedding old thoughts, feelings, pains, and struggles. Memories of the past have been flooding out of your soul like parasites being expunged. 
And now your soul, thus cleansed, is in need of genuine nourishment to restore it to full radiance and vitality. Love will feed your hungry soul. Nothing less shall suffice. No sweet-talking charmer hell-bent on seducing and moving on will make the grade. No, it has to be nothing less than genuine romancing by the great beloved to feed, comfort, and nurse you into radiance. Only that divine finger dipped in the heavenly honey can be taken in by your soul now. All else will seem as empty junk by comparison. But we can but can we summon the strength to overcome habitual and mindless attempts at feeding on lesser substances? Oh yes. The great beloved shall storm through the kitchen and with military precision clear out the cupboards for only the best and finest, most decadent and delicious shall do for you. This oracle comes with special guidance for you. You are being given a blessing of Zahra, the ra of radiance of brightness. This blessing has a purpose. It is to clear out that which would obstruct your full unfoldment to support the divine jewel of your soul in shining. You are being given an opportunity supported by life, by the earth, by the grace of the divine beloved to shed toxins from your being. These may be physical and they may equally be of emotional, psychic or psychological origin. They may come from this or another lifetime. You may understand consciously what is being released or you may not. If you are sensitive, you may feel symptoms of detoxification at a physical level, even if what you are releasing is emotional or psychological in nature. You are encouraged to complete the sacred honoring ritual, to stay adequately hydrated, and to be moderate rather than excessive in your approach. Give your body and mind time to rest and replenish so that blessing can be fully received. If you've been unwell or struggling to let go of an issue, this oracle comes as a portent of imminent healing back to good health and of release of the issue into resolution and divine radiance. It is only a matter of timing, and that timing is imminent. This oracle also brings you the message that if something appears to be leaving your life, even something painful to release, it is because it is no longer healthy for you or no longer supporting of life for you. There is something more loving and beautiful awaiting. Do not try to feast upon scraps. Stop scraping in the dirt for stale breadcrumbs. Rise up and move towards the seat at the heavenly table gleaming before you, for a greater feast awaits your attendance. Wow, this is really beautiful. And I feel like your higher self is like, do not settle for anything less than what you know is true friendship, true love. Like you've done so much healing work. You've gone, you, you've been through a lot. I can feel it. And there's this beautiful energy of, growth and awareness and really being able to discern what is, you know, true divine love versus fake love, mimicking love, fear. So the more you know about your energy, the more you can really truly see things for what they are, which gives you the upper hand and being able to align with what's meant for you. It's like, you're not just taking what's given to you in a sense, like the universe will present everything, but it's more like, you know, because you're willing to learn about all parts of yourself and really dive into who you are and receive guidance from your higher self and knowing what love is equal give and receive and nurturing and you know inspiring and strengthening bonds of intimacy and love and growth and all of that it's like you're you're going to the more you tune into your own guidance your own journey you know, being patient and also learning how to balance your energies. It's like, you're just going to know what steps to take. You're going to receive that divine guidance and, and you're going to begin using your own gifts in a way that really benefit you, that really heal yourself and others. And it's just, it's shutting off the mind sometimes and going within anytime, you know, my ego or my mind starts trying to come in, I just immediately tune into my heart and my higher self. And I'm like, okay, what is this? Why is this coming up? And I'm shown and I realize what it is because I don't want to feed an energy that's disempowering. It just doesn't, there's no point, you know, but it, but we're human and it happens. So it's, it's just having that awareness and then just having the, you know, just the knowing to address it, you know, there's nothing wrong with you or, or anything it's just, you know, it's like, you know what you need to do to choose love and heal and release and let go. And, um, I think writing to yourself and just being more aware of your own dreams and your own synchronicities and your own connection to nature and to animals and to people 
to the dark, to the light, like all of it. Like, it's just like, you're, you're receiving a lot of insight and taking care of your body and your well being is really going to help you just feel stable and confident and secure. And things will just start really flowing in your reality and your higher self will help you in so many ways. Um, your angels, your guides to, it's like, as we release stuff, the like new energies of love come in and and so there's not that feeling of law. You just, you feel like you have more than you ever did as you release things that are not truly aligned for you. It's like, there might be a moment where it feels like, ah, you know, but then it, that's quickly remedied with, you see the new things coming in. You see the new friendships, the new divine counterpart relationships. Like you meet the one, whatever it is. It's like, wow, you know, I really see you moving in the right direction and um, focusing on friendship, I think is really going to help you at this time, just manifest and anchor that, that beautiful loving connection that I feel is really important. <laughs> so for everyone, but especially for you. So that is your reading, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. I truly hope this message resonated and affirmed what you're already feeling and gave you some guidance moving forward. Um, if you feel guided, please check out my twin sisters videos. Um, they did a healing pick a card as well. Tiana is love healing messages and Ananda is future predictions, um, based on life aspects. So those links will be down below. And you can also, if you're interested in a personal reading, um, you can find the information on my website at crystal and love. Um, I also have a Patreon where I offer messages um, to my beautiful Patreons. And you can also find me on my social media, Instagram or Facebook. Those links are down below as well. Um, but other than that, you guys, thank you so much for being you. Stay true to you, true and authentic to your own heart, your own guidance, your soul. And, um, you know, because truly we are all one heart, one soul one being and we're all in this together equals you know side by side and um choosing love you know it's like that's the path that we're on together so i thank you so much for being you and inspiring me to be me and i will see you guys again very very soon for the next pick a card sending all my infinite love as always peace out